So I want to just like introduce uh, Libre, um, our, uh, one of our experts, and he's also going to do a presentation here about um, um, uh, technology and privacy and uh, the Google phones um, and just like uh, um, free open source software. Um, Phil, uh, our, uh, Mr. P, our great uh, expert in uh, XMR, many, many years in the, in the business. And in the field, um, and uh, and Mel, uh, our Aussie uh, freedom cell gatherer of uh, people, uh, mainly like expats. Uh, I represent like the the locals. Uh, I'm probably one of the only local speakers in this conference. Um, we are going to leave uh, some cards here of uh, our businesses and projects, uh, and we're free to be like. Uh, um, approach that at the, the end if you if you want so basically like in the last two years since the the last circus or uh, tyranny has uh, has been implemented um, we have been connecting uh, people from uh, from Europe from from the states people that are gathered uh, and based in Portugal and we have basically like started to, to create essentially friendships and trust networks um, that are essential in uh, XMR and in the crypto space because we all know that like yeah the cashless society is coming we all know that like the internet as we know possibly is going to like change and we are going to need uh, people to get to know each other to have trust to to create like the bedrock on which everyone the the geeks sorry <laughs> that uh, are like uh, online and are just like exchanging and uh, talking in like uh, IRC chats and things like that. Um, the hippies that live like uh, in, the, in the hills and don't care if they have like an internet connection, but they will care when they will need like things and XMR uh, has that potential to be the next cash uh, and uh, the next uh, alternative market. And that's what we're already like uh, uh, achieving now uh, of doing uh, I have actually been paid uh, in XMR for like services, like I would be like in uh, in cash, um, and this is the this is the future and the the trust networks and uh, you knowing that uh, if anything happens, you have people next to you that can uh, real, that you can rely on, that uh, can support you, that you can learn from. Okay, um, yeah, it's uh, it's fundamental, and you, you, we can't talk, and this will just be like. Uh, um, sorry for the expression, like circle jerking uh, in geeky internet mode. If uh, we don't get it, like uh, like in other presentations we we talked about, uh, we don't get it like down to earth, like uh, foot on the on the ground, uh, head in the clouds, you know. And uh, Portugal, in that aspect, uh, is uh, wonderful. We are a very like uh, cash friendly society. Um, a, a lot of uh, despite uh, despite like people usually like uh, are very like conformist or like conservative. Um, people usually always like uh, pretend that they do things, but then do things like on the side and are a little bit like sneaky. So if anyone is considering like places to be based on, hey, great weather despite like uh, this being like a little bit shady like this, this last days. Uh, great communities, uh, great people, great food. You can't, uh, I don't know if you try it, but please try it, okay? Uh, great food. Um, yeah, and just like people that uh, are really like, passionate about, their do about what they're doing, about freedom. We're already like several, uh, a few thousands, uh, and, uh, and people are also like, connected to people uh, elsewhere. We have friends in, many co in every country. Um, and yeah, like, uh, our, our, the possibility of growth uh, is awesome so if you guys are looking for a place if you are digital nomads if you are people that are trying to like uh, to find like uh, a place like, where you can find like uh, family friends community village um, just like uh, living in the city and just having like people down the other block that you can uh, that you can have like a, a drink or a, a restaurant night out like during the lockdown um, yeah it's uh, it's what we're here for for living in freedom and coherent with that, 
and not giving um, uh, a red sense, sorry for the expression, for, like, uh, for what laws are made uh, from, just caring about like, morality and uh, the non-aggression principle. And uh, yeah, just like basic uh, live and let live, um, yeah, and live in freedom and act uh, what we all love here, like uh, privacy, um, decentralization, um, prosperity, um, yeah, peace, peacefulness, freedom, sovereignty, more, uh, <laughs> um, more ideas. Um, yeah, just basically it's that we are free to be. Yeah, yeah. The the basically like the concept of uh, freedom cells. Uh, it's uh, um, basically like the non-aggression principle. Uh, just live and uh, and let live. We are not like looking for each of us is is uh, is a leader in different things, and we are not like uh, centralized. There is no like leaders or like there's like people that just like do things. Um, and, uh, and and yeah, just uh, uh, decentralization. Um, trust, um, yeah, and um, just making, just uh, being, uh, being real with uh, with people, um, and um, and yeah, and helping each other, doing like uh, workshops, skill sharing um, between the other things, um, yeah, just uh, come come talk to us, yeah. Can I ask the audience a question? Um, I'm really happy that uh, you're looking at Monero and I think the, the, it's important to understand what's going on. But let me ask you this. You saw the stuff in Canada and other countries. If they decide tomorrow to freeze your bank account, where are you getting your food from? You may have Monero in the bank, but who are you going to get it from? Who are you going to get your food from? Unless you know someone, unless you've connected with someone in the community that grows food, where are you going to spend your Monero? And you've got to make sure that that person will accept Monero in order for you to have food. So that's what we're about, is building small community networks that we can rely on one another, small decentralized groups of six to eight people, maybe 10 people that we know and trust really, really well, but then have the expertise spread all over Portugal and around the world that we can call on a lawyer or an IT specialist to Monero person, someone, and say, we're in trouble, give us a hand, and we can pay them in Monero. But unless you may have Monero, you may be trading Monero, and that's amazing, but unless you have somewhere to spend it when the world goes a little bit skewy in a way that you may not want, you haven't really got much benefit to you because you need to eat. So that's what we're about doing, is building the community so that you have the facility to eat, find doctors, find services and pay as you wish, preferably with Monero. Alternatives and solutions. Just to point out that. Okay. Moving on to the next one. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, creating the Monero circular economy. I like it. You guys want to hand, hand your card out?